So while breast reduction is a common operation and generally has a very low risk of problems, there are risks with all operation. All operations have general risks in common, having an anaesthetic, pain, bleeding, infection, wound healing problems, scarring, even things like clots in the legs and heart attacks. This operation, however, is something which is only about two to two and a half hours long, doesn't impact your ability to mobilise and move around after the surgery. The dressings after the operation are some padding over the breast and a particular bra, or a post-surgical bra. You don't need your breast to walk to the bathroom, to the kitchen, and consequently your general ability to mo move around the house and participate in social things in the house is uninhibited once you've um, recovered initially from the anaesthetic. Again, because we're in a bra as the post-operative dressing and we haven't operated on bones, muscles or joints, for most women, there is less pain than expected for this operation. We do, however, use liposuction to deal with the fold that goes into the side of the chest wall and sometimes a bit further around. And not uncommonly, that in fact is the most uncomfortable part, feeling a little bit like a bruise, like you've fallen on something without breaking any bones and you can certainly feel that tenderness on the side. It's not something that aches on its own, but if it's knocked or bumped, it certainly does let you know that it's there. There is an ability to create numbness in nipples after breast surgery. Uh, for this operation, it's not altogether uncommon to have a little bit of reduction in sensation, but for most women, by the time we get to 12 months, that, that sensation is gonna feel like it's normal or be almost completely normal. After any operation, there's potential to have fluid collect inside the wounds. But for a breast reduction surgery, this fluid called a seroma is a very uncommon thing and not something I've had to surgically intervene because of. There's a potential to lose skin or have what we call fat necrosis, where the blood supply to the tissues is not as robust as we would like. With the technique I presently use, I have not seen anyone lose skin on their breast. Fat necrosis is something particularly for the very big, the very long breast, which of course is why in that circumstance there is a potential to move towards the free nipple graft where we take the nipple off and put it back on after the reduction if we're looking for a significant reduction because maintaining the blood supply is more difficult.